Hi, I'm Joseph Shimizi, Regional Sales Engineer at Sony Electronics. We've created a series of short videos to guide you through some of the features and capabilities of our new PVMX series of 4K HDR professional monitors. This monitor line offers an incredible thousand nits of brightness and covers the array of HDR gammas from S-Log3, HLG to PQ, as well as SDR, and color gamuts from Rec. 709, DCI-P3 to Rec. 2020, with models available in 18, 24, and 32 inch sizes. The PVMX monitors are designed for multi-purpose use in broadcast, location, on-set, truck, and edit suite applications. They have also been specifically designed to color match with our flagship BVM HX310 Master Grading Monitor in order to provide color continuity from production straight through to post. In this segment, we're going to talk about Quad View Mode. Quad View Mode in the PVMX series monitors enables you to view up to four different HD signals at the same time. There are four 3G inputs on the back of the monitor for each of the signals. By setting the menu into quad view mode, each of these inputs is assigned a specific quadrant for display. The sources do not need to be synchronized and you can even include an HDMI source. This can be particularly handy for viewing multi-camera content in tight spaces, where having multiple monitors for multiple feeds is not practical. With a 32 inch display, that is the equivalent of having four 16 inch displays, or four 12 inch displays with a 24 inch monitor, or four 9-inch displays with an 18-inch. To set up the PVMX in quad view mode, first set the channel settings for your four HD inputs. These channel settings will represent your four display quadrants on the monitor, A, B, C, and D. Quad view must be assigned to one of the 12 function buttons. This will allow you to turn it on. In the menu, you'll now see the screen setting options for each of the quadrants, A, B, C, and D. Select the appropriate channel settings for each quadrant. The monitor is now set to quad view mode. Here, you can see four different feeds on the monitor. But quad view mode also goes beyond simple multi-viewing. Each of the incoming signals can also be assigned its own LUT, making the quad view mode ideal for comparing content. It's really easy to do this since all you have to do is assign a LUT in each of the four channel setting menus. Do note, even if we are feeding the same content to the different quadrants, each one of the corresponding inputs has to have a separate feed. It's tempting to think that you can use a single feed and loop it through the other connectors, but that's not going to work. You could also take a different camera angle and apply the same LUT to check exposure and confirm your coverage. When viewing two sources, you can even bring up the waveform and vector scope for each image. That's it for now. See you next time.